Hey everybody, this is Mike from the Highs Do Disney. Today we're making pumpkin beignets, so let's get into it. To begin, one quarter cup of warm water, one half a cup plus two tablespoons of pumpkin puree, should have got a spatula, but I didn't. Quarter cup of sugar. A quarter cup plus one tablespoon of heavy cream. Three large eggs. Two tablespoons of shortening. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Three quarters teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, a half a teaspoon of ginger, and a pinch of salt. And we're going to whisk this all together. You know, this is kind of unique. I've never made it this way, but look at those little chunks left over from the, uh, the shortening. doesn't really incorporate, but that was the recipe, so. Now, take this mixture and we're going to add it to our mixing bowl. <laughs> doesn't look very tasty, but it should come out tasty. So kind of let that drain off a little bit. Again, should use a spatula. And then to that, we're going to add five cups of all-purpose flour. Just going to pour that all in the bowl. And a half a tablespoon of dry instant yeast. I don't know why we didn't bloom it first, but again, just the recipe. So put that down and just set that mixer on until it's all nice and kneaded. And so everything's coming off the bowl here. You see it's all come together. It's kneaded well. So just take that bad boy out of the bowl. I'm just going to pop the bowl off of the mixer. It was a little tough there. So, what we're going to do is take our bowl, grab another bowl, take some uh, pan spray and just kind of spray it on your bowl, and then plop your dough right into that bowl, and cover this bad boy with some plastic wrap. We're going to let it set for 30 minutes to let it kind of rest a little bit. So our 30 minutes is up, so we're going to take our dough, and you notice here that I have some cheesecloth laid out on the table. This is going to help it keep it from sticking to the table. So take your dough here, and we're going to set it to the side for just a second so I can add some flour. So pretty much cheesecloth and flour will keep it from sticking to your countertop when you lift them up. So sprinkle it down pretty good. I put a pretty heavy portion on here. I have not done this technique. This is something I was reading about to help out with beignets, so hey, give it a try, right? So now, just take your dough, plop it down there, or if you're like me, then just kind of form it into like a shape. I kind of just kind of pushed it out a little bit, kind of made it a little more easier to work with. Press it down, and then just take your rolling pin and roll it out as, as thin as you can. You want about a quarter of an inch. Um, it's a lot of work, so good, good shoulders here. Definitely helps out, so nice and thin there. And then we're gonna take our Mickey Mouse cutter and we're just gonna cut out all the Mickey Mouse shapes. So it's kinda like a little Tetris and just kinda moving it around as you go, find the right spots. I don't even remember, I don't think I even counted how many I got. I'm thinking like 15 or 16 overall. And then there we go. Pulled all the stuff out of it. So as you can see here, I can lift them up nice and easy. Now we just let them proof for an hour and a half. One and a half hours later, they're nice and I wouldn't say proof, they kind of look the same, just drier. But we're going to take these guys into a pot of oil about 300 to 350 degrees. And we're going to plop them in. And they're going to come up to the top. And what you're looking for, um, you don't want to stick together, so kind of separate them. But you're looking for them to kind of bloom up. So if you look here, they're nice and bloom, so flip them over once they bloom. Don't worry about them being browned. Just flip them over, because you want that. And then it's going to bloom on the other side. Then give it a couple minutes. And then you're just going to flip them again. Uh, I flipped them a little earlier here than I probably should have, but it's okay. Um, and then I just noticed that I wanted them a little darker, so I just flipped them again. So you just want to cook them until this this nice golden brown color here. And when you're done, just take them out, and that's the whole process, and just do them all. So take our freshly cooked beignets back to our table. We're going to get yourself a tray. You notice it's the same tray I used last time. It's a cool tray. kind of like it, so we're going to keep that tray going. And then I'm just going to take some beignets, I'm going to place them on top. 
if you know or already know what's coming, then it's going to be pretty easy for you to guess. So put four of them on there because we're going to try these. I don't need all these beignets. And then just take some powdered sugar and just dust the living daylights out of them. The more, the better. I feel like when you go to Disney, you get them, they put them, throw them in a brown paper bag and pull like four cups of powdered sugar and then toss them up for you and then give you the bag too. So, All right, here's our beautiful tray of beignets. Just four of like the, what, two dozen or so that we made. So we're going to dive into these and tell you guys how delicious they are. I'm so excited for so many different reasons, especially because the last time that I had a pumpkin Mickey beignet, it was a pumpkin spice Mickey beignet, and it was a regular beignet just with pumpkin spice on top, and it was not good. But the first time that we had Mickey beignets, they were pumpkin, like pumpkin beignets. So I'm hoping yeah. that they taste. Yeah, so this is actually a, a, a Disneyland recipe, okay, which good. is the pumpkin beignets. So, okay, so I'm, you grab one, I'm gonna grab one. I don't need, oh, I guess it's not as bad as it looked when you did that. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Wow. Mmm. That's really good. I got aeration in that. Holy cow, that's good. It needs something, but I can't figure out what. Maybe some cinnamon? It has a bunch of cinnamon. It needs more sugar. Like, I literally want. It's also dry. I want it to be a little bit more wet. Uh, I don't think they're. Mine's not dry. I'm going for seconds. You need some sort of wet aspect to it, like a caramel dipping sauce or... Oh yeah, that'd be great. That'd be, actually be a great, like a nice caramel or... Um, like a dose de leche? Dose de leche is actually a better idea. I agree with that one completely. You know what I think it is though? I think that I should have powdered them right out of the frying oil because that oil kind of makes almost like a little glaze. And that's where you get some of your moisture from because the... Uh, the powdered sugar then holds on to the oil and kind of makes a little bit of a, like I said, yeah. a glaze. Yeah, maybe that's it. I don't know. They just don't taste... Too... The flavor is perfect. The pumpkin flavor is perfect. I don't know. I don't know. Something's just... I think you're right. They're a little drier than they needed to be. Maybe proofing them less. Because they sat for an hour and a half proofing after cut. Mm -hmm. So maybe a little bit less on that. And that should taste good. I mean, they're delicious. I'm going to destroy this whole bag. They are not going to go to waste. All right, guys. So thanks you guys so much for watching. You know, we really appreciate everybody that watches this videos. We have a great time cooking food, trying out different things. Uh, if you like this video, please click the like button down here. Uh, click the subscribe button. Click the thumbs up button. All those little things. Comment. Comment. I'll leave a link for the beignet recipe in the description below. I'd say try these at home. These are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. So with that, we will see you Monday for Disney videos, Thursday for cooking videos, and somewhere else in here for some other videos if you want to check them out. Peace. Bye.